Hey guys, it's Miss Shelby here. I'm so excited to be with you guys today as we do our very first holiday in a box. So with Valentine's right around the corner, we're gonna be doing a Valentine's craft today. So you have to come into Tringali and pick up your cute little Valentine's bag. And we're gonna go ahead and see what's inside of them. So at the top of your bag, you're just gonna go ahead and untie. And let's see what we got. The first thing you're gonna find is a little coloring sheet. So for now, we're just gonna put that to the side. We also have what we're gonna be working on in today's video, a little holiday craft for Valentine's Day. And then my favorite part of the bag is the little treat. So for now, we're gonna keep that to the side as well. Now you have everything you need for your craft in this bag. The only other things that you're going to need are gonna be scissors and a glue stick. So with that said, let's get started with the craft. So our craft today we're gonna to be making is a love bug. We're gonna go through all the materials first just to make sure you have everything laid out. So you should have your bug face, you should have a pink piece of paper, your wing separator, two googly eyes, a smiley face, and a wooden stick. So the first thing that we're gonna do with our little red plate is we're gonna make our bug face. You're gonna take your bug face, grab your glue, and we're just gonna go ahead and glue down two of the googly eyes, like so. And that's gonna give your bug a little character really cute. And then of course, it's Valentine's Day, so your bug needs a little smile. You can put it on either side, whichever one you think fits best with your bug. I'm gonna put his right about there. So he has a little smirk on the side. After we do that, we're gonna take the red paper plate, put a bunch of glue on the very front like that. You're going to go ahead and take your bug head and you're going to put it about halfway on your plate just so his head is sticking off slightly. And hold it just for a few seconds. And there's your face. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our little triangle piece and give our love bug some wings. So I'm going to Take some glue onto that, and we're gonna just place that right up top. Again, holding it down just for a few seconds. And pushing, push, all right. So you can now see we have our little bug. So the next part that we have to do is we have to make him a love bug. You're gonna take your pink piece of paper, and instead of a hamburger fold, you're gonna do like a hot dog fold. So when I say a hot dog fold, I mean that it's long, like for a hot dog that you put in a hot dog bun. And we're just going to fold that in half, make a little crease. And this is where your scissors are going to come in. So if you need help with this part, call mom or dad over and they can help you out or whoever is home. And if you're older and you got this, then you're good to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out little tiny hearts that are going to be the little spots for our love bug. So with your piece of paper, you should be able to cut out around four or five. Whoop. And it's gonna come out just like that. Nice, cute little heart. And we're gonna cut out another. Two. Again, if you wanted to make them bigger, or even if you wanted to make them smaller, it's totally up to you. I wanted mine to be a little bit different on each shape, so I have some that are a little bit bigger, some that are a little bit smaller, so on and so forth, just sort of seeing what they look like. And you're just going to unfold all of those little hearts, and then we're going to glue them down. So to glue them down, again, you can put them wherever you want. I think for my love bug, I'm just going to do four. 
So probably two on each side. So there's one heart. And another heart. Just put some of that glue to get in there. And your glue will dry clear, so you don't have to worry about that if you get a little bit extra anywhere. And heart number three. And I sort of like, like to put them down staggered. Um, just that way, because you know, every bug is made different, so it just gives it a little bit more character. And here's our last heart that I'm going to use for my bug. We'll put it, hmm, I think I like it there. Oh. There we go. All right, then we have our little love bug with a bunch of hearts. And if you wanted to, you could even fold this paper a little bit more to get a few more hearts out of it. So for example, if I took it in this way and I just sort of cut around this way, you can end up with another heart. So it's totally up to you how many you want to do. Um, I just like mine with four. So, perfect. The last step we're going to do is to make your bug come alive. We're going to take our love bug, flip it over. We're going to take our wooden stick. We're going to put a good amount of glue on the back. And I'm putting the glue by the head part. And then we're going to take our stick. I'm going to put a little extra glue on there. And we're going to press and hold once again, just about 10 seconds to make sure it's pretty steep. And then while that dries, we're going to move on and we're going to read a Valentine's book. So I'm just going to put him to the side, let him dry. And let's go ahead and get started with the book. This is a great time if you want to take out your ring pop, if you ask your mom and dad if you can have it. But while I read this story, it would be a great time to have that little treat. All right, so the book we're going to read today is going to be Click Clack Moo, I Love You. All right, this is from one of my favorite books, Giggle Giggle Quack Quack, so I thought this would be fun. All right, it is Valentine's Day on the farm but there is work to be done before the big dance. To keep the pigs healthy, Farmer Brown cleans the pig pen. To keep the donkey happy, Farmer Brown stocks the stable. To keep the animals safe from foxes and raccoons, Farmer Brown mends the fence. Little Duck worked hard too. She tied balloons to everything. She hung streamers from everything. She strung sparkling lights between everything. She made hearts out of anything she could find. When Little Duck was finished, there was paint on her face, glitter in her wings, and a valentine for everyone. That evening, Little Duck greeted each guest at the door. The chickens arrived first. Little Duck handed each chicken a valentine. The chickens handed her a casserole. The pigs arrived next. Little Duck handed each pig a valentine. The pigs handed her chips and salsa. The sheep arrived fashionably late. She handed each sheep a valentine. The sheep headed right for the chips and salsa. The cows had a more formal affair and we're out for the evening. And it says, join us for the second annual Divine Bovine Ball. Formal attire, please. When the music came on, the chickens danced with the chickens. The pigs danced with the pigs. The sheep danced with the sheep. And the mice did the hustle. On the other side of the fence, at the top of the hill, a little fox heard the music. She perked her head up, her ears, and called. Yip, yip, yip. Nobody answered, but there were streamers in the trees. 
Little fox climbed down the hill. She called, yip, yip, yip. Nobody answered. But there were balloons to lead the way. Little fox trotted down to the fence. She called, yip, yip, yip. But nobody answered. But there was a trail of hearts to follow. So little fox dug a hole. Little fox arrived at the barn covered in streamers and glitter. She called, yip, yip, yip. The chickens stopped dancing, the sheep stopped dancing, the pigs stopped dancing. The mice hustled right out into the hay. Little fox called again, yip, yip, yip. Little duck was not scared. She greeted the new guest. She handed little fox her last valentine. Little fox handed her a valentine right back. Yip, 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 quack, quack, quack. Duck turned around and put the music up. Yip, quack, yip, quack, yip, quack, quack, quack. The chickens dance with the sheep. The pigs dance with the chickens. And the mice kept right on hustling. Everybody danced with everybody until the cows came home. The end. So I hope you guys enjoyed our Valentine's Day craft and story. Um, please remember to love one another, care about each other, especially during times like this. Let your parents know you love them. Let your siblings know you love them. And have a great Valentine's Day.